as I said that, it's like six seconds live. Hello, everyone! That's my name, you here. I'm Slackers in the cover. Back with the Moonlighter. God, I, I'm enjoying this game. I want to see uh, everything it has to offer. But, whew, it's um, a little bit grind-intensive, as it turns out. Money is no, you know, easy feat to get your hands on. But, uh, I did get on a little bit before actually streaming this. We already had the means and stuff to craft uh, our next level gloves, so I, I, I just went ahead and, and crafted that away, as well as crafting a piece of armor. So, we have tier 2 armor and the tier 2 gloves, the Venom Twin gloves. Hopefully these are awesome. I look forward to seeing what they can do. A little bit of money ground. But yeah, we're gonna go grind some more money. We got a cell bin. I forgot I picked this up. I don't really know what it does. I think we just throw stuff in that uh, we want to sell. Do we even set a price? Or does it like sell automatically based on our best prices imaginable? I don't know. So, that's our armor box. Armor and weapon box. This is our crafting box. Let's just toss everything in. If we can craft with it, we will. And if not, yeah. Oh well, we'll worry about it later. Alright, let's go to town. Do I want to sell something? now? We're just going to run straight in, get some materials. I believe armor is our key to victory right now. Though I do want to upgrade our next bow. Let's see, we need two of the weird ginger beet things. 64,000 gold! Holy moly! Alright, fair enough. What do we need armor-wise? So we could upgrade this right now but we need 44,000 gold and boots wise uh yeah actually we have enough for that too we just again need more gold hmm now there's something I want to try and, and this is just me thinking out loud on this you can you can you can vendor stuff the way you're supposed to. You can actually sell things. I know this isn't the forest dungeon, this is the golem dungeon, but with the new weapon, we should be able to just rage in the cage through this. What if we just slime sold everything we picked up? Just just get everything, sell it all, immediately walk out with the gold. That way we can rush through this pretty quick and not have to worry about babying our, our inventory you know, making sure that we have the right everything, everything. Let's just run through. How how valuable is this? Holy moly, that hits like a truck. Ho ho! Wow, that's better than 40 damage. 40 and 50. I wonder what the, um, the combo hit does. Okay. So we're just gonna kill everything, gather everything, and then uh, after every couple floors, just nuke it all and see what we get. Worth while, maybe. Or maybe not. Okay. See ya. I saw something flashy down there. Yeah, they ain't gonna be an issue. Have you seen my claws today? Okay, I need I need you to dive, please. Okay, yeah. You need to be um Right in the wall, please. Thank you. Wow, yeah, this, this just lets me one-shot things. That's great. Let's gather everything we can, and nuke it away, see what it's worth. Hold. Okay, I'll hold it. Almost full inventory. How much is a full inventory gonna come out for us? We still have HP from the, um, the other armor bonus. I mean, we haven't even broken our main HP. Oh, actually, no, that's not the armor bonus. That is the, uh, the better bed. Okay, I know that for a fact that this is normally worth, uh, two or three thousand. Maybe that one is worth hanging on to and selling. But, just because it's super valuable. Yeah, the, uh, the bed gives us, uh, HP increase. Which, apparently, you, you can't, uh, refill it. You just, if you lose, you lose, it's like a little energy shield. Oh, well, yeah, I'm losing it right now. Rolling off the world, the pits of Hades. 
Come here. Give me all your loot. Waiting for a boss. Oh my gosh, 230 crit. Wait, what is that? Did you see that? That thing had like a... That thing had like red on it. I don't see it, 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 it not in our inventory. Huh, maybe it's just a couple things together that were just piling up and it looked like two items, or it looked like a different item, I should say. I don't know. Alright, um, back where we were doing, okay, 15.744 for a full floor. A little over a thousand? I'm, I'm selling it, I'm sorry. 846, so a little over 2,000 for running through a floor, just smacking and selling. I feel like the forest dungeon would probably be worth a lot more. But this is just like a example run, like like what could we do with the cheapest materials even? How how far on top would we come out? I know the forest dungeon is dangerous as butts. Flipping flipping empty box. I hate you. Empty box. Other adventurers come in here take this up before me, how dare they? But also, there's much damage that we're doing now. It, it, it would probably behoove us just to go into the new dungeon as well. Even if we're just going to do this. In fact, uh, I'm going to keep running until I hit the boss on this, because why not? We're, we're tearing things apart. Might actually hang on to the Empower Crystals, though. We'll need those for, for later uh, equipment improvements. Right down two into the right two. Oh gosh, it reminds me of when we played uh, when I played Flint Hook. There was a lot of that looking at the map, going, "Well, we gotta go two right and one over to the left and do see do, kill the boss, and out we go." I don't know. You could actually push those. Oh, it, it could do because it wasn't a um, it was a mimic, not an actual item box. Interesting. All right. I got some... Yeah, we'll hang on to that. Let's just clean out house. 17, 7, 18. Yeah, e even on, on, on this floor, there's that... About 2,000 every so often. Yeah, gonna have to try it out on the next... Next difficulty area. Boss? No boss. Mini boss, if... Come on out wherever you are. Excuse me. We'll be here. One or two floors. Nice thing about these gloves, too, is... Yes, these are the status gloves, so they're not as strong as they could be. But they add poison, and... I, I mean... I guess that's gonna be good. So far, nothing has survived it long enough, but I'm sure there's stuff in the next zone. I don't know how much damage it does. I wonder if it's like a 10% or it does percent based on the enemy uh, HP. Don't know. Let's go ahead and just clear these out as well. Yeah, we're making money pretty fast. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look at that poison go. Three, two, one, dodge. Boss may still take a hot minute to beat, but shouldn't be too bad. Not not nearly as bad as it was the first time we fought him. Alright. Find the boss, and away we go. Okay, well, luckily, this means we're on the right path. Yeah, there's the boss room right there. Oh, good, we have to fight one of these guys. They're not too annoying. Oh yeah, especially when you can, like, three-shot them. Alright. Let's go, boss room. 
Excuse me? So we don't have to fight, we don't get to refight the boss? But it's a... Okay, I didn't know that. So just to kill uh, the boss, uh, the, the the enemy is quickly and we have to open the boxes, but we don't actually get to fight the boss again. Okay, so it is a loot run. Huh. Well, again, playing for money's sake, that was this, that was the gist of this game. So about, so we came in here at like right at 16,000. Right at 16,000 and uh, pretty quickly came out, well, 6, 7,000 ahead. There's no boxes up there or anything, right? This is all just junk from the mobs. There's the dead golem. Wow, okay. So, bosses don't respawn. That's actually good to know, but kind of sad at the same time. So yeah, we, we pretty much came out ahead by about 10,000. 10, Give or take a little bit here and there for a full clear in a relatively fast amount of time. Okay, well, shoot, let's um, let's head back over there. I like how our HP are regen, even our rested HP since we had rested HP. Hmm, twenty-five thousand one thirty-seven. We need uh another another twenty thousand for one armor piece or another 30,000 for 35,000 for um, a weapon. Let's go in here and let's try the same thing we were just doing, which is just burning stuff as we go. Unless it's something new or something we think we might need for crafting. How much money does this stuff give us if we liquidate everything? Also, wow, we're killing these guys fast too. Man, that new... uh I'm gonna kinda take my time on this level though. Get as much as I can get out of it. Cause these are valuable. These are much more valuable than the golem area. Wow, these just <laughs> these guys are melting now. This is great. Can't wait for the next level. Of course status based stuff does start kind of drifting off like well below the straight up damage weapons. This is interesting. That's a lot of poison. There's a lot of poison, I don't like it. Okay. Well let's just let's just take a couple hits here and there. I wanna gather all the stuff. We can heal back up. Uh, we still have some potions from running around the last stage, so no biggie. Okay, so I think this area is pretty much cleared out. Yeah, all right. Up to the right. That'll clear off all our side areas before we go fight the mini boss. All the drops. Oh, and and a fall area right here. What do we got? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I picked up one of these before. Didn't summon the uh, the ghost that's gonna chase us down and try to kill us. So we still get to take our time a little bit on the stage. Though I did notice uh, by going AFK that. If you spend too much time on a stage, that guy gets summoned regardless. Yeah, 
think those, uh, those red ones are going to be worth much since those are from Golem Stage 1. Alright. Ooh, the poison in the crits. Wowzers. Okay. So this is, uh... Floor one. All of floor one. We're currently at twenty-five thousand one thirty-seven. What does a full floor one give us? And I'm not gonna X this one. Wow. Yeah, that's uh six thousand. Yeah, yeah. That that's that's a lot of gold to to be had. Uh, let's save that because. That is like 3,000, maybe more. I don't think I've sold the one in the shop. And these, uh, I mean, how, okay, look, I'm gonna hate this later. How much does a stack of these give? Eh, 169. Okay, yeah, they're, they're worth hanging on to just for the, the in, in lieu of the ability to actually upgrade stuff later on. I mean, yeah, 169 gold is 169, and gold is 169 gold, but. If we're going to be leveling up stuff, we might as well just put our valuable things at the t top row. That way we don't lose it if we die. And when I say if we die, when we die, it's, it's, it's going to happen. This is kind of a suicide run for money. Okay, so this is the way I need to go, which means it's not the way I'm going to go. Not yet. here for your dollar bills, yo. Darn little poisoning jerks. So I need... another... 12,000 for armor. Armor gives us more HP. Which is a good thing, especially when things around here hit as hard as they do. Might upgrade our shop because I believe that is like sixty thousand or eighty thousand, one of the two. Oh man, we even do damage to these guys. This is—we're not supposed to be doing damage to these guys yet. Oh my gosh, they—they they, they hurt so bad. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, that's where those came from. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Using all the golem HPs, that's okay. So, yeah, we need to probably drop this over here so we can have healing potion. Uh, I'm gonna keep this up there. I'm gonna put these up here and make sure that we we keep them, because uh, that's for the next stage. So, I mean, if if I could get the materials to make a weapon for next tier dungeon before ever getting into the forest dungeon. Guys, that'd be fantastic. I mean, hey, think about the amount of damage I could do. You just stroll through stuff. Yeah, I only want to keep one state, one um, one stack up there for now. Of empowering crystals. Okay, you died without dropping nothing. Fair enough. Little leaves. We got lots of stuff. Nice. Ooh. Using my healing. Is it dumb? Yeah, probably. But like I said, money run. Purely money run. Why aren't you happy? I've seen happy faces. Maybe the happy face marks something. Nope, nope, need you. You're gonna put my kids through college, let's go. Alright, um, go back up here. It means we're gonna run into our little Healy friend here. Get topped off. <clears throat> Alright. I don't know what you are, you're a little piggy thing that hops around? Fair enough. Ugh, poison. Happy when I get out of the zone. <laughs> get to the air that I guess sets me on fire. So 
32,847. Top off what we can. Nice. Oh, that hurts. Darn you. Okay. Uh, sell what we can. Currently at 32,847. Wow. 32,847 up about 8,000, 9,000 gold for just unloading everything that we had. Yeah, well that's, that's the way you make gold fast in this game. Screw setting up a shop. Maybe later on when things are worth like, you know, a pretty penny kind of thing, sure, but... When we're uh, in, in a hurry to get some uh, upgrades made, yeah, just just give the items to the slime god for, for pittance and we'll make out like bandits. Oh, that does 230 damage, that charge up. I don't think we're going to survive going through a boss. Not with the amount of HP we have at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, this dude's going to... Oh, no joke. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he hit us for 100 damage. Yeah, that's a sign that we need more, uh, more HP. Without a doubt, more HP. It was nighttime, I believe, so it means it should be daytime. Not that daytime really matters to us, because, uh, you know, we're sort of not selling stuff. 44,000, uh, we have just enough for a new piece of armor. And also, what is this right here? I've been meaning to look at this. Still turret unable to sh flying golem. Select wintry sprout modified. What are we equipping? Flying go golem made to collect materials. There's pets. How do we get pets? Also, why? Why do we have pets? I have no idea how we ended up with these pets. Like I may have uh, missed something about this. Wind tree sprout modified to be able to walk and use its leaf to create wind flows. Okay, well, you, we have pets. What? Okay. Um, kind of wish the game would have updated and like said that somehow, somewhere. What can we actually unlock right now? Uh, say town-wise. We could get the Hawker. Uh, game is not responding. Okay, weird. As a Hawker, I've traveled the world looking for techniques to create objects that can inspire people. Visit my cart to find objects that can make your shop look more interesting to visitors. You know, it's not armor, which we do dually seriously need. But if it makes our shop more interesting to visitors, I mean, we could potentially get more visitors or sell things. It's also increasing the town, so there goes 20,000 of my bucks. It is daytime, after all. Usually when I have money and I come out of a dungeon, it's nighttime, and I can't do jack. So, here we go. Hawker. And we got a whale. Is that just, like, yay? Every hawker comes with a whale. What you got, man? Fellow merchant! By the looks, you must be Will. Thank you for requesting my card to Renoka. My name's Alan. My crafty decorations remind people that it's what it's like to feel again. Are you a demon? If your shop is in need of a little decor, stop by Hawkers. <sighs> Relaxing fountain of energized water from Golden Dun Dungeon increases the time visitors will visit in queue. Interesting. Increases the max number of visitors to the shop. Interesting. Increases the time the shop can be open. Golem books. Golem crystals. Natural formation. Every visitor adds a generous tip to their payment. Interesting. Okay. 
Increase the speed of visitors, increase the max number of visitors, and... Hmm... I guess because we've already somewhat been to the third area, we have some of the third area stuff. The sound of lava flowing through this fountain may attract some and scare others. Increases the probability of thieves. That's actually pretty good. Increases the time. Interesting. Okay, so this is interesting stuff regardless. Um, let's go ahead and open up the shop. Just for... Well, we have some stuff. I Let's try to sell some of these things. Um... I don't I, I think I'm pretty pretty barren actually uh, for how much stuff I have to sell oh good we have a burglar walk in immediately thanks I was gonna go back to the back and and in look of if there's anything to sell but not with your sketchy shady butt here really get back here you jerk Yeah, I'll sell <laughs> all those times holding on the empower crystals. I'm just like, let's sell them. Eh, yeah, we're we're pretty barren right now. Someone was very sad about something. I really wish I knew what it was. It's probably the mag, mag magnetic orbs. Need people to look. Come on. Tell me what you're worth, my friends. Actually, the smart man would actually take, uh, I feel like the, uh, the, huh, was this, so let's drop down about four, and we'll actually take one and put it up here at three, and then perhaps set it here and do, like, 2,500, that way, if, if somebody, you know, if somebody jumps on one of them, sure, if it, like, Ecstatic money price. Okay, everyone's happy about that, and someone thought that was a deal. Oh, they both thought it was a deal. Okay. Well. You live and learn. Yeah, we're, 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 a, lot of, we're a little out of, uh, out of money right now. Just a little bit. Also, 300 bucks for those. Sure. It's plating. I don't know if it's going to be worthwhile, but... Whatever, someone's gonna like it, maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on. Just take it. Take it home. I'll, I'll gift wrap it. Okay, that, that, that's a bad sign. That means it's real cheap. Ugh. Take the yellow thing over there before I toss in the sail. Before it gets stolen. Okay, how about this? How about I just... I'm gonna close the shop. No. Jerk. Okay, how does this work? Is it 75% off? Whatever the best price of it is? Because, I mean, if that's the case, then, I mean, I can just toss stuff in there and sell it for... Probably better than I'm actually getting... The, um, yeah. Okay, at least we made a little bit of money. I'm gonna say. Almost enough to, to cover armor. One dungeon run should give us more than enough for armor. Um, plus we get this list, nice little pet guy that I haven't seen before following us around. Whatever. Pet man. Leaf boy. I don't know. I don't know what to call you. Also, I have no idea why we have them. This wasn't, like, covered when I opened up my shop. Like, oh yeah, by the way, you have pets. You collected monsters. Okay, they do 23 damage. That's not bad. Okay, well, we're going the correct way, which is... bad? Hmm.
really need armor, but I kind of want to expand my shop. I think I need 60 or 80,000 or something for that. So one or two runs out of this, we should have enough. Uh, we'll leave. It'll be daytime. Daytime, I can expand things. Okay, the fact that he's killing little pains in the butts without me is really nice. Can I get one that, like, heals me or throws down some traps or something like that? You know, wouldn't, I wouldn't frown on it. Oh, I didn't see a glow, so, uh, hey, free loot, maybe. Ow, ow. Mushroom people, stop it. Mushroom people sat around all day. Not the case here. Also, if I can get some, like, ginger root things, I need to actually hang on to those, too. I need that for crafting. Now, that actually does look like ginger roots. The weird carrot thingies. Those thingies. We'll hang on to those. Do, 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 do. That's a dead body. Healing potion, nice. Hi. Gonna have to uh, clean up my inventory soon. <laughs> nope. We got nope. Nothing I need. Did get a potion out of it, which is super. As soon as we kill the mini boss, we'll see about how much we wrapped up for the evening. Yeah, I, I wish I could remember how much it was for uh, the next shop upgrade. I, I really think it was. I want to say 60,000, but it could have been 80,000. Just. Oh, wait, what are you? Oh, that was. That was a dead adventure. Hey. Free sword and shield. That's, um. Yeah, probably about a thousand bucks, honestly. Oh, Mimic! Hey, Mimic, Mimic, Mimic! Look, look, if you guys can stop... Okay, stop, stop. You're annoying, stop. Nice! Oh, and we got some of those ginger root things. Oh, and they, they stole a bunch of our items, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah, we need, uh, two of these, I think, for... The bow, I think? I don't remember. Okay, well, well. We'll definitely get through the boss here. If we don't... I mean, he should just do the roly derby thing. No, he's doing that. Why were you doing that? Should have done a little roly thing. Okay. Uh, nuke it all. For... Yeah. How much? 326. Alright. I'm sold on that. So yeah, we went up, uh, what about, 7k? Worth. Also, when I go in here, I need to, uh, put my weird root thing up here. That way, if I die, when I die, I don't lose it. You and your poison, stop it. Super box though, that's good. Good times. A little bit... A little bit leery 
of running from room to room to room without clearing stuff out of my inventory. Yeah, because see, this means that one of these doors right here could be the boss. Those are always near boss rooms. Well, that's good, that means that we're actually pretty safe over here. <laughs> Excuse me. Come here. Cash. The world runs on cash, like any other world. Poison. Yeah. What are you? Blade tree egg. I don't think I've seen this one. Like, we'll, we'll, we'll hang on to this one. I actually, when I say hang on to this one, that's that's a lie. We're gonna hang on to this one like that. Wait. What? Blade tree egg. Why aren't you, um... Ah... Uh... Excuse me? I sorted and now my blade tree egg is gone. Also, my, um... Okay, I'm losing my mind. Blade Tree Egg has decided to leave me. Wow, the money, the money's just rolling in. Oh, there's another, another, another path over here. Didn't see it. The fact that those home is a little bit... Stop. Stop. Just stop homing in on me with your weird things. Hey, look. What, what is this? Hunter bow? That's exactly what I have! Okay, so we got a tier 2 bow. Interesting. That's That's got to sell for a decent amount. Rare items ho. that in. Alright. Okay. Head down here. Is Blade Tree Egg. Come here, you. Since for whatever reason you disappeared on me. Weird plant thingies. Yeah, we're getting a whole lot of things I haven't seen before. Hurt him with yours? Hmm. Okay. So I think we're about as cleaned out as we could be. Time to heal up and attempt the boss. Let's try to attempt the boss. Okay. Um. Again, where is this blade tree egg? I know I picked one up. Why do they keep disappearing from me? Whatever. Uh, this one. Not boss. Forty-seven thousand. I mean, if I could get sixty thousand, I'd be a real happy man right now. Acid, yeah. Happy face. But not... No, no, um, no sparkly, so there's no, nothing downstairs. <clears throat> out, out. Thanks for the poison, you jerk.
but... Oh, yeah. But you might have healing? Yeah, you do. Two healings. And lots of money. Okay, potential of that being the boss is high. Getting real close to 60,000. Box, no box. All right. Dead body, nothing there, nothing to see here. <coughs> <clears throat> At least I can get topped off before going to the quote unquote boss room. I, I know it's quote unquote every time, but he's somewhere around here. If I could kill him, I, mean, I got two potions. Stop with your... just pooping on me. Stop. There we go. Whoa! He hit me for 95? Guys, stop. Okay. So we have to... hit him. Oh my gosh! Woo! 95 damage, are you crazy? That's a lot of damage! Uh, okay, go to town. Yeah, armor is definitely on our to-do list. As well as, uh, upgrading shop. Armor, upgrading shop. I the more we upgrade our shop, the more money we can get from people. And I feel like the better we upgrade our shop, the uh, more often we're going to get, like, rich customers to actually st stop by. Ah, the fact that we're so close, it makes me sad. Um, okay, that's our town. What can we actually do with our shop right now? It is 60000 Shop expansion adds new showcases, more decor space, and a brand new quest point so merchants can receive customer ch Quest requests. Okay. So cheap cell box. I can do average one. I can get a better bed that gives me more HP going in. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's go for since it's the only thing we can do at the moment. Better armor. Just gives us 30 HP more up in our bandana. Or 30 HP more upgrading our shoes. So, uh, why is it as long? We do have some materials to do the third tier already. Is anything else we can do third tier? Like, are we close to anything like that? No, we haven't seen any of that stuff. One more, we can get a better bow. Which I guess, added doing some of the stuff at a range would be better. Okay, so this is 175. What is our tier 3? Okay, so our range starts getting on par with our stat damage at at tier 3. Tier 4 did the same as well. Hmm. Maybe a, a shield weapon isn't a bad idea. Does it give defense or something? No. However, we could upgrade stuff, but I think it's still like 60,000 gold to upgrade something with additional defense, so... Ah, uh, alright. Money, grub, and jerks, that's what they are. I mean, the damage on the greatsword is huge. I feel like we actually picked the weakest items in the game. Oh, well. Um... I want armor, I do. 
I'm gonna actually grab um, I'm, I'm gonna save for the shop I mean I, I gotta save for the shop right enter is there anything I actually sell sort of okay another item Dunn's keys crafting box go and shove a couple of these in the cell box because they can't sell them anyways dang it I really do want to do like more selling and stuff because y you do get a lot more money doing selling stuff I understand this but for as far as quick cash goes I feel like what we've been doing is is better for quick cash because I mean we're, we're gonna die we're going in here with the the idea the certainty that we're gonna die it, it's just what it is the that 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 second floor tree boss with his spitting of coconuts is just well out of our, our means to actually take down <clears throat> so might as well play the the long con in this case get jerked around by other adventurers you monsters So improved, improving our shop gives us merchant request, uh, customer requests. Not sure what it's gonna do right away. I don't. I, that might be craft me a sword kind of thing. But for how much? Or is it like craft me a sword? I give you something. Uh, me love you long rare long time kind of thing. I, I I don't know. Worth a shot, sure. Grab all the stuff I can while I can. <clears throat> well, at least we got the uh, the reading area out of the way. Yeah. Okay. Look, I continue. I know I've got a a, a room over there. I am passing up on. Not like me. I know. things it burns okay floor boss get you out of the way I mean we can take this guy down so fast it's crazy it's wild it's... but man tier 2 guy hits like a ever loving truck in fact let's go ahead and just make sure that we can uh, afford the hole Shop increase, yeah, I mean, uh, a couple more things and we'll have shop increase, no problem. Like how you just dropped the power crystals, you ma. Yep. Okay. Let me see if there's a shortcut for that so I don't have to go click every time. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a shop upgrade right there. There's our... I swear, if I walk into the boss right away, I'm gonna be a little bit salty. <clears throat> I would like, actually, uh, more portals into the next dungeon. Because, I mean, we, we we were so close. We, we could potentially get a Tier 3 item. That'd be really, really, really cool. Of course... Who wants to grind 512,000 gold to get a tier 3 item? I, I mean, I would if I had to, but... Okay, yeah, yeah, we, we passed the Healy thing, so let's just clear out what we can. 67,000 gold. Oh, here we are. Okay, what if I... Go long. Ow, he hurts. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's not a good move either. Okay, go to town. Money made. We can at least get <clears throat> shop increased. I know it's night time. Wow. Our face has got to be sore by now. We keep getting kicked out of there like that. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Hold, hold up, hold up. Old man, what's up? Why are you camping out here? Oh, he does not uh, hit him. Um. F. V. Oh, I gotta sit over here. I, get, I gotta talk to the log to talk to him. What would you like to talk about? Oh, yeah. Dungeon closed. Ah, something of much contention. If you were not closed, maybe Renoka would never have fallen into such despair. It was the deaths of the heroes, mainly. Merchants were never foolish enough to venture further than they could manage. But those heroes, they were a bit more headstrong. More apt to die without potions. Very few of them carried pendants as well. So if they fell, they never came out. Hmm. Me? Oh. Who wants to know anything about this old grouch? I was a merchant, just as you are, just like your grandfather. I ran a more humble shop than your grandfather's moonlighter, though. He was the ambitious one. I just needed enough for the pub each night. But he wanted more. More for his daughter. More for his grandson. On his passing, I promised to look after you. And that's kept me plenty busy these past couple years. Near lands, yeah. The lands outside Renoka. I guess you haven't traveled much, boy. To be honest, neither have I. I came to Renoka as a young lad, and not much left since. The land surrounding us are your standard affair. The crater is the closest landmark. It was formed during a war between various kingdoms surrounding Renoka. After that, both kingdoms ordered a ceasefire. Soon after, Renoka was discovered. And there was never a greater distraction to warring states. Oh, I actually asked about my mother and father. Your mother was an angel. She was so quick to love, even as a child, she would take care of everyone. She brought a mole, a mutt home, one night during a storm of biblical nature. It was a pathetic looking creature, drenched and half starved. Your grandfather wanted nothing to do with it. But one look at your mother and he caved. That mutt soon became Duke. He was your mother's partner in crime for years to come. Camilla and Duke. <clears throat> so I do unlock more things as I read, I guess. A scoundrel. At least, that's what your grandfather would say. Your father was a good man. A, a great man, really. But his charm did steal your mother from your grandfather. A sad fate of all of all fathers. But yes, Will, your father was a man of his word. He assisted in running Moonlighter with your mother as if it was his own. Times were tough there at the end. They are tough now. But your father and mother were a team, though. Through it all, they were a team. Alright. Spill the beans of Renoka, sir. Your entire life has been spent in Renoka, boy. What do you wish to know before your time? The birth of Renoka? It was a crazy time. Once the dungeons were discovered, people flocked from every land. Renoka quickly became the most diverse town in existence. Gold just flowed into your pockets and everyone walked around with a smile. It was a town far different than it is now. Yeah, oh. Ain't got nothing else to talk about. Alrighty. Well, I'll see ya. I gotta go expand my shop. I have a buttload of gold I need to spend. <clears throat> you know, before it burns a hole in my pocket. Hmm. I mean, it says modified sprouts whose leaves are sharp as a sword. I had a uh, blade egg. Yeah, blade tree sprout. I I had the blade tree egg on me. Hmm. Wonder if I need to like escape when I get it and then uh, come like grow it or something. I I, I don't know. All right, money in my pocket. Let's go. Invest in my shop. I want a tier two shop. Get to it. Let's do it. I want to see what these merchant quests are and um, if there's something I need to work on. Maybe that's the way to get better money. I don't know. Because what I'm doing now, it works, but yeah, I need a lot of money real soon.
Phew, that was hard work. So not trusting me? Remember, it's bigger on the inside. Look, I believe you, but... Holy moly. Alright. Interesting. Merchant quests. People ask for things? So, essentially... They ask for something, like on the 9th, they give you a couple days to look for it. And then you hand it to them, and you get money. Alright. Uh, item prices are not stored in the notebook when their popularity is not neutral. The valuation comes from wealthy customers. Oh, if you put it in the... those things, thieves can't steal from them. So you can put your, your valuables in there. I like it. I like it. We're moving up in the world. Three chests now. Ew, alright, alright. Also, we have a giant leaf. Go team? I guess go team. Hang on. My premium trial expired. I know, get out of my way. Alright. Whew. Well. These are pretty. Still got 7,000 gold. I have no money. Alright, well, it's night time, so... Back to business, I guess? Oh, that makes sense now. I, uh... Those are, um... Stored in there. I can't, like, jack any of them and walk off with them. Well, I mean, we're thieves in general, I guess. Well, shoot. I need 44,000. I need to get better gear. A lot of gear. At, at, at least 88,000. I need to upgrade my head and my boots. And then I guess I need to enchant them for the defenses so I can actually survive things. <clears throat> also, wait, why did my HP go up? Did I actually get boots already? No. Has it been 225? Am I just... I might be having one of those, those senior moments right now. Alright, well. Get some more gold, do some enchanting and stuff. I mean, I guess it wouldn't be bad to enchant the chest piece, since that's already tier 2. I feel like it's expensive as butts, though. I want to say it's probably half the price of actually making the gear. We're talking like 20,000 gold, which... Per enchant. <clears throat> Would increase our defense, though. Defense? I mean, getting a hit for 95 damage on a hit from Tier 2 boss, that's a lot, man. That is a, that's way too much. I think I want to start... Since we have the shop upgrade, let's actually just hang on to some of the stuff we get, and, um... Sell. I mean, we're gonna make money, we're gonna make way more money actually selling stuff than, um, vendoring it. I think as a means to an end for, um, fast... Fast money gains, I think just burning it from the slime hole, it works. It really does, but... Let's see how much we can get in like a full night of uh, saving good materials. Got another one of those books down there? No, we got one of these though. Yeah! I actually like the, uh, the mob fighting ones because that's a lot of potential money drop. Blade seed? Actually. Did get a blade seed. Blade tree egg. Hmm. Can I quick equip it or something? No? 
Okay, let's just be very, very careful. That might be one of those items that if you take too many hits while you have it, it breaks, which... Tempted to just leave with it. Well, we can, and honestly... Might not be a bad idea. Do I still have it in my hand? Yeah. 4,000 gold, though. Is it worth it? You know what? Just to see what this does, I think it's worth it. Let's see what it does. I mean, if this gives me a, a little pet guy that does more damage than, you know, the pet guy I got, anything that increases my damage output is good. Oh, there he is. He's chilling there. Modified sprout whose leaves are as sharp as a sword. I can't equip him yet. So I did get something that is gonna evolve, so to speak. Probably just takes time like anything else. Also, what's over here? Why does this have a town? Oh, um, can I actually buy him? 70,000 gold, though. Interested in making your money work for you. Trust your money in hands and it'll make, uh, it'll grow before your eyes. Sign the banker. So we get percent increased gains by using the banker. That's kind of like D-Live, I guess, if you locked your points in. You don't get much, but you get a little bit here and there. Hmm. Might be worthwhile, too, in the near future. I don't like that that's floating down there. It scares me. Alright, um... So these can raise the value on things. I don't... I don't or not. Actually, they are very popular right now, so... Because they're popular, maybe we should... Put our valuable stuff in here. Oh, or they do they become popular because I put them in there? Oh, they do. Okay. So I can increase the value just a little bit versus what they normally sell at. Do people buy these though? Question mark. I don't know. Now these are worth a fortune on their own. I I'm gonna actually mark it up quite a bit. About oh, 300 on these. 100 a, 100 a pop there. A little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, we're not gonna get much from this selling, that's for sure. But... Ooh, ooh, everything's going up in value. Holy moly, okay, yeah, it's a... Uh, Open shop, see what we can do. I want to see. I just want to see. Maybe we'll get a couple of those uh, merchant requests, too, because <clears throat> we can get those pretty fast. Oh, yeah, he, he finds that way too cheap. Good to know. People are happy. I like it. Three hundred bucks a pop. Three hundred bucks a pop. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is where you make money if you want to just, you know, play the game like you're supposed to. So put your viable stuff up there. Mm, all right. And having tin. Hey, 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 you didn't even, like, say you were a, a robber. Gotta worry about you. Buy it! They're spiky potatoes. Oh, that's cheap for you. Mmm, alright. 20, oh yeah, we get tips now, too. Oh, we get a lot of tips. So, uh, let's just watch, like, if somebody picks up, say, $1,400. Okay, $1,415. So this is going to be $1,500. How much do we get bonus for tips and whatnot? $1,800. Holy moly. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting quite a bit extra. And they, they bought all of our valuable stuff. What do, man? What do? 
No merchant request, though. Kinda hoping for at least a merchant request. I mean, come on. First day on the job with merchant request. Oh, merchant request. Uh, he wants... Could you bring me ten notes from the forest tangle? 24,000 gold! Yes. Done. Sold. Anybody else want to do anything? Five fertilizer. Four days left. Dude. Sold, man. I didn't know that... I thought they were going to have an item, like a, um, a thing pop over their head. I didn't know I had to, like, walk over here and talk to people. <clears throat> so, fertilizer and ten tangles. Sold. I can do that in, in a couple days. Hopefully. Give or take. I, I, I can do that, yeah. Anybody? I didn't know kill quests were a thing. Please, give me all of your kill quests. I will do whatever you want. I will do anything for money. You don't understand. Just just, just tell me what you need. I'll do it. Yeah, that yeah, they, works for real life, too, if anyone needs it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do anything. Oh, thousand bucks? Nice. You look like a thief. someone picked up what you wanted, that's that's my bad, sorry. Hey, I'm just happy things are selling right now, guys. Woo! We actually made... Actually came out pretty rich, considering, um... Yeah. $12,000? Considering I had pretty much one inventory full? Woo! Alright. Well, shoot! Uh, <clears throat> the man wants ten, ten tangles killed. I, I can do that in a heartbeat. Uh, five fertilizers. Easy. You guys are giving me like three or four days to do this stuff. I, I could do it in one. Just done. Now, what I have a question of is, do I have to have it on me when I talk to him to, to turn in the quest, or can I have it in my, like, back storage? I don't know. Can I get some fertilizer already? I would like it done a Sabarino. So now it's starting to get in that thing where it's actually worthwhile to hang on to a lot of things. That's fertile soil. Fertilizer. It's like that, that one, um, uh, Finger Eleven song. Fertilized by you. No, it's, it's not good. the same. Um, fertilizer and ten. Ten of you dudes. Are you gonna drop little notes now? Because I'm. So, the Tangles done stole your notes. Tangle stole your homework. Ow. Ow. Stop. No fertilizer still. Alright. Kill a plant for fertilizer, which is a little bit weird, because I, I guess it's like dropping the juice boxes. Was it shiny down here? Yes, it was. I like these. Good old kill things for loot, money, and a box. It's just a free room full of resources. Die. What are we doing on those? Six already. Nice. Open up. Small fertilizer. But close. Getting fertile soil. We can just turn. We can't turn fertile soil into fertilizer. It's not the. It's the other way around. Darn it. Fertilizer turns into fertile soil. Stop a tree. 
Alright, um... Cleared out here. Ow. Mind. Eat. A lot of money. Ooh, I, I, I'm so happy we can, like, make things worth while, like, increase our popularity by putting them on show, and then we can just reap the, the benefits of it. it. It's it's so cool. It's like a real merchant! <clears throat> hey, there's some fertilizer. Um, yeah, we'll just, uh, hop that down. Oh, I guess all the little green dots means that they're cursed in some way or another. Probably. You and your weird shake of the tree thing. I don't like it. Uh, I also don't like these red things here. They don't, they're not worth much. Okay, floor two. <clears throat> Again, as long as we're careful and we're not, uh... We, we keep an eye on if we run into a, a healing room. We shouldn't immediately run into the mini-boss. We gotta avoid the mini-boss like the plague, man. At least until we're ready. Trust me, we're, we're not ready yet. Okay, what can I deep six on this? Uh, powering crystals, I love them. I love them so much, but no. Sort of by price cursed. Got a dang second. Why, why don't you stack? It's weird. <sighs> All these cursed items don't want to do nothing, no how, no way. Okay, so either of these could be the boss. So we'll just step back and, and do any other rooms we can do. Can I get more fertilizer, please? I'd appreciate it. Uh, might actually just get rid of that, too. <clears throat> and, honestly, look. It's one, it's in the way, it's causing a problem. Okay, uh, we've got fertilizer with a curse. We've got this, we can get rid of that. Um, <clears throat> hmm, 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 one of these is a pain for the space taking. This can go in the right spot. This can stack? No, it can't stack. Four of those. Why did it... Why did it randomly become... What it needed to become? I don't know. I didn't see a, an, an anti-curse. Whatever. Whatever! Well, there's the other one. Nice. Okay. Problem solved. A little lag, which is really weird for a game that's... Running off of my system. these things. I think they sell for like 110 each, so I'm not complaining. <clears throat> nice. Now if this sets off the the guy that wants is dead, so be it. Only one fertilizer though, that's uh, unfortunate. If he, if he sets that, yeah, okay, if he sets that guy off, I'm belling. See ya. Get what we can out while we can. We need to get the, the tin journals and get the um, fertilizer out. That other one, that one is valuable. I know 3000 was too cheap for it. Like, they had the money in their eyes. They're like, I just won the lotto. I just found somebody uh, selling, uh, you know, like an Oakley, a pair of Oakley sunglasses at a 
garage sale for two dollars and I can make a fortune on this. That's kind of what that the look in their eye, eyes when they do that. So let's just set up shop when we can. Put the things of value in here. Yeah, what are you worth right now? Three thousand is way too cheap. Yeah, three thousand is way too cheap. Uh, what is five thousand gold? So five thousand. Oh, does is that is that helping me out actually? So the most valuable thing in the forest is going to be five thousand gold. The end. I didn't know that was the case. That's interesting. So most wow, most valuable thing in the desert is sixteen thousand. Holy moly! Follow on Twitch. Mx uh, Mx Mercs. How you doing, man? I just realized I didn't have my uh, Twitch chat up. I'm so sorry. Let me actually uh, fix that. I knew I forgot to turn something on. Well, how you doing today, sir? Thanks for the follow. Pardon for the quick double thing that might pop up. I mean, I... I not saying you were chatting and I missed out on you, but it just, you just reminded me. Like, thank you. Totally forgot to bring this up. Pop it out. Where are you, pop out chat? Pop out chat. There we go. Fixed. Solved. Ready to go. All right. So, five thousand gold is the most we can get for that. Forest history, 3,000 is way too cheap. Uh, and now that's a popular item high since we have it in there, I'm willing to say 4,000. I mean, I don't know. I Let's push it. I mean, if someone doesn't like it, so be it. Screw it. We're going to go 4,500. Play highball on this. Uh, I need a box of that and a box of fertilizer. I know we pushed that. That was cheap last time. Anything we can really, like, lots of plant flesh? Which is plant flesh? Not much. Okay, uh... These sell for good. I know that for a fact. Thousand each. That's a... That was too cheap last time, if I remember right. Nutritional water? Yeah. So... Hmm... Maybe, since it's a high-value item as well, maybe 2,000? You think we can push 2,000? I like to think we can push 2,000. Let me toss these journals in the back real quick. Uh, well, I guess this one's going to be our, our quest box. Customer requests. They ask it, we do it. Alright. Nutrition of water. I'm going to hang on to this one, just in case those others sell way too cheap again, because I want to know, what can I push those up to? Um, those were also way too cheap. Man, <laughs> I'm the worst kind of merchant, selling myself way too cheap all the time. So it's like the dollar store in here. Okay, those have been just right with 60, and way too much is 100, so I, I, I kind of know a, a roundabout. Six, 60, 60 is the perfect price. Those are also, let's see, have not sold any of those yet? Okay. But I haven't got any upsets on it, so, lo and behold. These are perfect to 110? Good. Good, good, good. Just gonna double check and make sure I get all my prices right. Haven't sold any acid yet. I feel like, oh, I didn't have the price set. That's probably good. Let's do 110. We have an idea. Uh, Fertile Soil, have we sold? Yes. Popular, and way too cheap at 200. So, uh, let's just double up on that. How are these? Not popular, but again, sold them way too cheap. And Plant Flesh, perfect at 60. Alright. Um, since I have 20,690, before I open up shop and sell for the day, Go see if I can get some uh, some increases from our hawker over here. <clears throat> uh -huh. 
It's a relaxing fountain, increases the time visitors wait in the queue before they just, you know, steal stuff. Uh, increases the max number of visitors to shop, that's good. Increases the open shop. More tip. Look. Always need the tip. Um, speed of visitors? Is, would this be mean just to, like, increase the amount of tip they give all the time? <laughs> all these other things I can have, like, oh, increase the number of visitors, increase this, increase that. Nope. We are purely... Uh, increases... Delays the delivery date of shop requests. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> Is it necessary? No. But I like it, and uh, if I can get this too, that's worth the 8,000, I think. Okay, we're broke. What else is new? But, decreasing the chance of being robbed by 25%. Fantastic. Delaying the, the shop request time by 1,000, also great. So I just place down these things wherever I want. Generous customers, every visitor has a generous tip their payment. Nice! Another 10%. Ooh, 20%. Put that there. Getting our decoration going on here. I don't know where all these things are. I don't know what some of these things are in general. <clears throat> so we can only have so many things down at the same time. I'm noticing this. Delays delivery date of shop request by one or less burglars. I, I, I'm going to take less burglars. Um, if we start getting into a situation where we really need an extra day for a couple items, then, you know, maybe I can just switch out. Maybe it'll increase the day of existing ones. I don't know. That's worth a try. Shoot, uh, yeah, let's open a shop and, uh, make some money. Do I have anything I drop in here? It's worthless. Oh, I need to drop the fertilizer in, uh, quest box. That's my bad. I didn't realize I had another one. <clears throat> Buy everything! Oh. I don't know if... Yeah, I think that was just a happy face. It was a happy face sound, not, uh, I'm ripping this man off sound. Plant flesh. Have I sold this? No. Mm, possibly thousands the highest. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I do not know. I feel like it'd be worth a lot, though. Just saying, because it. A couple of the items I saw using it for crafting, it. It's the, like, the quote-unquote rare item, the third item down. Oh, well. At least we know now. At least we know. $2,000. Okay, $3,400. Wow, increased tips are amazing. Come on, $4,500? $4,500 is perfect. Okay, tell me, please, please, please. Oh, yeah, perfect prices over there. Winning all around. Give, give me that $17,000. Holy moly. Okay. Okay. I, I, I see how it is. So I know uh, this is way too cheap at <laughs> 1000 Yay. Um, let's kick it up to about 1500 And have I sold these before? I have. Again, way too cheap at... 220. Crank, crank it up a little bit, man. Crank it up. Six hundred, you like it? Oh god, that's too cheap at six hundred. Alright. We're getting some of our prices down correctly, not all of them. A little bit here, a little bit there. Okay, that was a happy prize, it looked like. 
7550. I dig it. Uh, fertile soil. Yeah, I can do that for you, man. Buy fertile soils. Run out of stuff. My word. Okay, so I think that was a good price, right? No, wait, thousand was too cheap. <sighs> okay. Thousand was still. Wait, no, it's two thousand. But I sold it. Oh man, I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. Unless someone robbed me and I was paying attention, which yeah, that happens. That definitely happens. Take the six thousand. I need it. Dang it. Oh, he, he's mad about that. Okay, look, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm not trying to cheat you out. I just don't know any better. Two thousand dollars each. Perfect. Good. 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 I think this was also too cheap. Yeah, that was too cheap. Even though it's neutral. So let's see about 240 on that. Might be 300. Who knows? <clears throat> Ooh, 10,200. Still too cheap. Are you crazy? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. 150 still too expensive for you guys. It's magic wood. Man, no one respects the arts anymore. I, I gathered that magic woods with my own hands. Polished it, too. No thieves at all, but made an absolute killing. 62,424. That's by far the most we've made in one, one day of shop. Holy moly. All right. Well, now... Yeah, we can actually upgrade our armor. Mm. Pretty readily, actually. Yeah, give me that. Give me that upgrade. Blackbird pigeon fish. So this looks cute. Also, hi. Hey, Blackbird, what's up, man? Yeah, this is, um... Essentially, it's Stardew Valley. But instead of farming, you're actually one of the guys that runs the uh, the item shop. Same concept, you know, you, you go into dungeons, you kill stuff, you gather an inventory, you come back and then you gauge how much it's worth, you know, based on its popularity or, or, or low popularity, and uh, yeah, make a killing, come back, you invest it back into your town, you increase your armor and uh, weapons, HP, all that stuff, and, and keep going, keep going into more difficult and difficult terrain. It's fun. I, it's 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 definitely getting more fun as I get a little bit. Uh, is there a story? Or is it just rinse repeat? There is a story to a degree, but it's it's a very light story. It's essentially there's uh, dungeons in town that appeared for some reason way back when. No one knows why or how. Uh, they shut them down because people were walking in, getting killed, and you're going through dungeon to dungeon to dungeon, unlocking, uh, getting keys to unlock the quote unquote big door that they really have no idea what's behind and uh, partial it, it, it seems like you're like saving your town in a way but also driving business to it so you're saving it both physically and uh, financially and the other side of it is uh, you find these like little um, story bits here and there in the dungeons and some of it seems like you're reading from the monsters point of view and they're they're, they're always like, like we don't know what's happening to all the tools in this place. Like, and you're the guy that's like essentially running around stealing tools. So, I'm not really sure where the story lies. Like, um, I don't know if we're exploring, defeating evil monsters, or if we're actually just wandering into uh, a different dimension's like garden or uh, factory or tool shed or anything like that. And we're like beating up people that are just defending themselves. I, I don't know. But hey, their stuff doesn't come from this world, so uh, it's worth money. 
Interdimensional thief. Kind of found uh, an item combination that I enjoy and that I'm kind of working with at this point. But there are different weapon types and whatnot, and apparently I'm stocking up on more of these documents, even though I already got my 10 for the quest. So I don't know. Uh, I just unlocked the ability to kind of wish list this. Um, it was on sale for a while. They have a DLC coming out soon. Um, I think it's a paid DLC, but pretty sure the game will probably go on discount when the DLC comes out. That's, that's usually how these indie games work. Alright, like story here, what do we got here? Can I read it? More patterns and secrets! For those diving so far as the third floor, have you ever felt overburdened? Carrying just too much loot? Too much treasure? But you don't want to stop? Just can't stop? Then have I got something for you. Hidden somewhere on the third floor between where you start and where you end, the quote-unquote end here being the massive creature at the bottom of the dungeon, meaning the dungeon's end is your likely, more than likely your end, but between those two spots, one may notice a sparkle. A glimmer of something just beyond a pit of infinite darkness. If you're brave, I ask that you give it a jump. See what's down there. Yeah, I've noticed a sparkle. I've been jumping down on it. Uh, essentially, it's, it's hidden rooms inside the, uh, the pits of death. And you find a couple on the floor sometimes. I will say that this game, um, they're pretty good at guiding you on what happens and what's going on, but, yo, oh, some of the enemies are hard. Uh, we've yet to discover the perpetrator who, as of a year ago, destroyed several of our experiments. Now, much of our research materials are disappearing on a daily basis. What do you mean, research materials? You mean the, uh, creatures and inhabitants of these weird dungeons that I'm encountering that I keep selling the parts to? Yeah. Yeah. Get. Get off me. Wow. I need more money. I also need more fertilizer and more fertile soil, because the last upgrade I had of my, um, shop. Cool, looks like this is in the Switch, too. Yeah, 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 Switch. Um, I, I, I like that so many of these indie games are just being picked up all over the place. Like, it's hard enough to get people to play it on the PC, but when it's like, oh, well, it's available on Switch, like, yeah, go for it. I need to kill these things fast, because these things hurt. I need to get my armor upgraded. So many things. $19,114. Um, I kind of want to invest in a banker. I mean, the banker. Um, it's $5 more on the Switch than the Steam, though. Mm. Ooh, all these things. Yeah, I, I, I just got to the ability of uh, the, the ooh, HP hit. Uh, unlocking the tier 2 shop size uh, gave me the ability to get um, merchant requests. So uh, customers can walk up to me and be like, hey, you know, in, in three days, can I come back and pick up? Like, can you give me like five of these items or kill ten of these things or whatever? And, uh... Yeah, the, the payouts are crazy on those. Like, I think I have one right now that uh, I have to get 10 of these Forest Tangle notes dead, which I already have 10 in, in, in my bank and in, in the house. Uh, but he wants to pay me 27,000 gold for it. It's like, okay, I'm going to be killing these guys anyways, so what's the, what's the difference? I got to be real careful. My HP is low. Ooh, loot. No? Can't carry it? Oh, get that. Alright. One of those, one of these, one of those. Don't need the red things, because they're pretty worthless. Honestly, can I sell one? What are these worth? One, okay. 
I already have 10. I'm pretty sure I just needed 10. Uh, I also realized Path of Exile is on X-Bone. I couldn't play the PC version because it was click to move, as I recall. I could probably do with a controller, no problem. So I've been giving it a try. Yeah, click to move gets a lot of people. I I don't know. I, I, I spent too much time playing Diablo back in the day, so click to move doesn't bother me as much. But I, I get your saying. It's, it's, it's a lot for some people to, to adjust to that. It might be fun on, uh, on like, Xbox. Because, I mean, controller... I don't know how it would work on controller, though. I haven't really... I haven't tried it out yet. I'm pretty sure you can use... Con well, you, I don't know. Can you use controller on PC with it? I don't see why, why you couldn't. To the right. Oh, oh yeah. 40 HP. 40 HP. Be safe, buddy. Be safe. Whoa! Hey! No! Could, could we not? You're weird and you creep me out. Uh, I don't have any potions. I have 40 HP. I really need a Thank you. Really need a healing potion, healing fountain. Read this one. We still don't. We still do not know who is causing this grief. Some parts of our experimental forest continue to disappear, replaced with erect variants, occasionally covered in green slime. Green slime. I'm not causing the green slime. But I mean, there is green slime um, whenever we travel through the portals to get to these dungeons. So. Maybe there's a little bit of uh, interdimensional craziness happening here. I don't know. Also, if I can't dodge roll over the, s the weird poison... Like, really... It, yeah, that's not fair. I should be able to dodge roll over the poison. Okay, um... I don't need this because I already have... 10 at the house. Um, I would like this. Hmm. This is relatively cheap. Honestly, honestly, I don't think this is worth this. That's 600 bucks. Let's, uh, switch that out and then take this back up. Fertile soil, check. We did get a healing place, so I'm gonna run to the boss. This is floor two, correct? Yeah. I'm a bit worried to run to the boss on this floor. I still haven't beat the boss on this floor. Oh wow. I burned all my HP heals. Yeah, so the game teaches you that anytime you're traveling in the the, the down the, 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 the dungeon, when you run into this healing fountain, this is a marker to let you know you're on the correct path to the, the boss of the floor. So, anything before it, you don't have to worry about the boss. Which is good, because the boss would just whip the... just snot out of us, so... Uh, ow. Ow, that really hurt. I don't appreciate you doing so much damage to me. I keep upgrading my armor and you're still just doing a lot of damage to me. Woo Alright. Alright. Let's talk about what we can. I don't trust you. I don't trust you guys at all. Uh, preserved root is worth money. Check, but uh, I don't. If it's gonna blow something up, is it worth it? Probably not. Um, these aren't magic woods. Not worth jack. And this. So I'll fill you in real quick since you're watching. Uh, so these items can be cursed. Uh, such as this one has destroys one artifact in the direction upon uh, 
shown upon returning to town. So, it destroys the item to the left, since that's where the arrow is, which means if there's not, well, I mean, if there's an item to the left, it gets destroyed. Um, some of these are cursed where they have to be placed in certain edges of the bag. Uh, some can transmute other items in directions. Some can remove curses of items in different directions. So there's a little bit of, like, item management when you're doing this. Like, how much is an item worth? One, to have, and two, to have to deal with a curse if it's got a curse. And sometimes it's just not worth it. I mean... Oh, 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 No! No! And when you die, you lose everything! Well, you, you lose everything that's not in, um... Your... On your person. You lose everything that's in your pack. Uh... Pain. Do you ever get a bigger bigger pack? I don't know. I, I mean, I'd imagine... Maybe... But uh, I, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, I haven't seen anything that would give you a bigger pack. There's um, so you, you can beat the floor and leave for free. Like, like excuse me, beat beat the dungeon you're in, leave for f free. You can um, use a merchant pendant, which it costs money to uh, essentially warp out. Or you can use this merchant emblem, which lets you open a two-way door to leave and come back as you please until you die or complete the dungeon um, but the price of this this in the the second level the second dungeon is about 800 uh, gold which honestly isn't a lot at this point this is about 4,000 gold um, so it does get up in in cost value based on where you are difficulty wise um, I've been trying not to use them when I can but Honestly, I should have left. I, I should have just called it and left earlier and saved my loot because I am running off of now, which I keep forgetting. So I can take those merchant requests, which means I have some requests that have, um, I have things due on days like this. Um, today's the 7th. I have to have 10 notes from Forest Tangles ready to go on the 8th for somebody. I need five fertilizers for someone else. I need five fertile soils for someone else. So, unfortunately, I only have two. Yeah, just like Stardew. Uh, unfortunately, I only have two fertilizers, and I had one on me, but I lost it. And then I had three fertile soils, but I lost it. So, yay. Uh, well, unlike Stardew, you can go out at night, though. Uh, nighttime, you get more more loot, essentially, when you're out. Uh, and enemies are harder, that kind of thing. That's that's your your, your trade-off. So that's worth 2,400. We'll jump that up. What are you worth? A lot. I'll take it. Have I sold you? I oh, 200 was cheap. Holy moly. All right, uh, of 200. Okay, 200 was cheap, then 400 is probably good. All right. Just kick these in. Luckily, it does remember the last prices you had for things. So if you sold it for uh, just right, if you sold it for a lot, um, that kind of thing, it, it'll, it'll let you know. Like, I uh, haven't sold this item, so I have no price information on it. But I have sold this item, and uh, 400 was just right, 300 was way too cheap. So, can people steal from your shop? I noticed there's a few glass cases and a lot of open spaces. Yes. Um, while, you're open, while your shop is open for business, yeah, you can have these burglars come in, which most of the time when they walk in, they have a little symbol next to their head that, you know, has like the sneaky burglar eyes and stuff. Um, not always. I had a guy, uh, like, two... Two, two days ago, that he just walked in, grabbed something, and started walking off with it, and he almost got away. But yeah, they... Uh, this I, I got these from the last uh, shop upgrade I had. Uh, these little glass cases are protected from the thieves. So it's kind of advised you put your valuable stuff in there. 
I could open shop, but I don't have that much surplus right now, so don't think it's worth it. Oh, that's almost ready to hatch. Um, apparently this was an update that I missed. Um, so I played a little bit of this in early access, didn't get that far in the game, stopped playing because I heard it was going to release pretty soon afterwards, so I just stopped. It released, I hadn't played it for a while, and then they've had a, a free update which gives you the little pet things. And uh, I got an egg earlier, and when I escaped with it, it popped up over here, and apparently it's going to hatch soon, because it's doing that little wiggle wiggle thing that, you know, if Pokemon has taught us anything, soon I'll have whatever that is. Hopefully it does more damage than what I got. Not that I don't, I don't mind this little uh, leaf air shooting guy. It's just if uh, if I get someone that does like knockbacks or knockdowns or stuns or something, that'd be cool. Alright, so I need fertile soil, fertilizer. Fertile soil and fertilizer is really what I really need to make it out of here with. Ow. Not to touch giant mushrooms. I did see a sparkle. There's nothing down here. Thanks, Sparkle. Oh, hey, dimensional portal. So occasionally get these dimensional portals, um, which lets you go into a room or two of the next difficulty of dungeon. Whether you want to go there or not, it really depends on your equipment, HP, damage output, that kind of thing. But this will let you get some high value items well above when you should. Luckily, we're doing pretty good damage. That's the way you should go if you want to finish the stage, but I need loot. I'm, I'm running out of time on a couple items. Fertile soil and... Well, I guess I'll take more of these. Why not? Fertile soil... Ow. You guys can drop fertile soil, I think. Magic, magic logs, which uh, aren't worth much. HP? Nice! Potion. Potion off a dead traveler! Was there a sparkle? I don't remember. I'll take the HP damage. There was a sparkle! Nice! Challenge room! Yeah, potions didn't do, do them much good, you're right. From experience, though, some of these guys, uh, when you first encounter them, can hit you really hard, though, so... Yeah, it's very possible that man walked in here and got one shot by something. Okay, we got wood. What I get? Desert cloth? Fireproof cloth. I'm not getting anything I need, though. Well, I mean, I'm covered... Covered for the first merchant item that's due on... Tomorrow. Because I have that done. But I need the fertile soil and, fertile and fertilizer. Makes me think of Stardew Valley and the Binding of Isaac had a baby. It's pretty close. I, I wish there were more item styles and types and stuff. That was one thing I love in, in Bonnie of Isaac, all the different synergies and weapons. We have yet to discover the perpetrator, who as of a year ago destroyed... Okay, we, I've already read this one. You do get a little repeats on that. Per floor. Yeah, I've already read that one, too. I know your story game. Ooh, loot. Oh, 
More logs, more ginger roots. Boss room. As long as I get the poison down, we're good. Nope. You're not gonna kill me today! So fertile soil and fertilizer. Fertile soil and fertilizer. It's a random who drops the stuff to a degree. I mean, I, I know different enemy types probably drop it more often than others, but it'd be nice if the game would uh, help me out here. Oh, hey. Dropped a claw. I feel like you would drop something. Nope. Let's have a claw as that. That's, uh... That is a fighter gloves. I think it's a tier one item. Oh, that's the um, that's the damage type. So, uh, all of your weapons can can take two paths essentially when you're upgrading them. Um, the first, f from training, y you can go into status or you can go into damage. Um, I took status on my main hand weapons. So, like these currently can envenomate uh, poison enemies and then I took damage on my bow so my bow just does straight damage um, damage gets more and more and more damage as you go uh, status gets a little bit more damage and different um, status types as you level them up um, to the next form the next form I think the next form of this one is uh, fire damage uh, so it lights things on fire and does damage and then this one is just it just does more damage that's it um, whether or not that was the best choice, I don't know. I honestly don't. I, I, I just, you know, status effects, man. I mean, you, you want at least one status effect if you got the ability to. They sound like they'd be, uh, extremely useful. The last one does, like, paralyze or something. That, that, that sounded really good. All right. So, this is going to break something to the right, so let's get rid of that. Uh, this is going to also break something to the upper right, so we'll do that. That's worth money. Don't know what this is. Wish I did. So, plant fiber ain't worth much. What is that that it's like it's it is is doing something? Like what what does that mean? These have arrows going to other items. Artifact must place the bomb in the back, okay, but it has a green thing that goes out. Are your arrows limited? Uh no, you you have infinite arrows. You do fire pretty slow, though. So I guess that's kind of the trade-off. Is you have an infinite ammo source, but... You... I mean... Okay, pretty slow in, in the regards of uh, other attacks. And also, your your ranged attack is way less damage than your, your melee attack. However, you do have a, a, a charge skill you can do that, that pierces everything. And actually... <laughs> It seems to kind of fly towards enemies too, which is weird. Like it, it as a, it, a sim, like a very light homing capability to it. Okay, fungus fertilizer, fertilizer fungus. If if you could help me out here. Nope. Aim assist. Yeah, it does kind of have aim assist to it. I don't like that I'm not getting any of these fertilizers I need. Now, would it be worthwhile to... travel back and drop stuff off? Ooh, hey, hey, poison, no. Plenty of acid, plenty of plant flesh. One of these things. Okay, well... Darn it. I don't need these. I have ten already. 
Taking up my inventory. Okay, I don't want to use my potion, but I'm gonna have to if I'm being dumb. Fertilizer, okay, and destroys one artifact curse in the direction shown when placed. Okay, look, um, I feel like finding out what this is is worth it. Okay, fruit basket. Worthwhile. Worthwhile. Venomous spores, I don't need them. They're not worth much. That's even better. Um, let's take, okay, the fighter gloves, <laughs> crazy it is, they're not hard to make, so let's just gank them for the money. Drop these off, they're worth a little bit of money, but what can you do? I really need a healing. No, I'll, I'll just use a potion. I need fertilizer, man. I need fertilizer. Apparently I also need death. There's no sparkle here, right? No? No sparkle? Alright. Should have a heal spot. Healing fountain probably right here. Nope. Screw it, I'm out. Peace. Heal spots only heal up uh, so much damage before they are worthless. Any items? Oh, come on. Fertilizer. I beg of you. Okay, if we encounter the boss, I'm... I'm bolting immediately. There's gonna be a boss here, I guarantee it. No? Next room then. One of those things. Ay, 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 ay. Chest. Nice. Still have a chance for fertilizer out of the chest. Yeah! Fertilizer! Alright. Two fertilizer. Check. Worth it over this? Maybe. Drop the petals off at the pool. Even though they're worth a teensy bit amount. That's worth a lot, too. I'm sorry, game. I gotta take it. I gotta take it. And drop that off as well. Yeah, wow. Those are worth a lot. I, I really shouldn't just throw those away. So, the uh, the mirror that turns item into a small amount of gold, it only gives you about 20 to 25% of the value of the item. It's Essentially, that's how you drop items. But you do get a little bit of gold for dropping them. So... It, it benefits you, but it's still... Yeah, I mean... It's really good when you really need money to get out, and you don't have enough money, then you can just pick up items and burn them for cash, and then you can escape safely still. Alright, um... I, I guarantee... Well, that's cool, you still get something for all the useless crap, yeah. I guarantee this is going to be the boss. Yep, see ya! I'm out. I cannot beat that boss. I, I need a... Uh, it, it, it throws coconuts, and the coconuts hit me for about 95 damage a pop. And that's... When you got 225 HP, getting hit for 95 damage is ouch. Hey! Our little pet hatched. Modified Sprout, whose leaves are sharp as a sword. Yeah, I'm gonna take you. Show me what you got, my friend. Also, what day is today? 
Seventh turning to eighth. Okay, so gonna have to set the shop up for uh, stuff. All right, what do I got to sell? A lot of stuff actually. Fertilizer got to dump in the back. Anything for okay, four out of five. We're gonna get you going. Got some stuff here. Fun. Have fun. Alrighty, Blackbird. Thanks for stopping by, man. Have a good night yourself. Oh, man. I didn't realize it's 923 already. Jeez. Did it. Time has flown. These... Oh, they're five. Five stacks. <sighs> Would it be worthwhile over this? Maybe... There's seven of them. 1500 and that's um, cheap. <clears throat> yeah, I mean 70, 7500 that's that, that that's that's fancy. Fancy talk. Fancy time. Four thousand is is that good? That's a good price? Yeah, four hundred perfect actually. <coughs> Excuse me. Those are definitely worth some money. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. Hang on to the fireproof cloth, because that's that's next dungeon madness. I just go to bed and uh, wake up tomorrow and uh, sell stuff. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's uh, drop some stuff down. Kind of want to put these on display because I mean they, they they vendor for a ton, so we can get that out. Magic mushroom is eighty. I haven't sold magic mushrooms yet. Is there anything like the? Magic wood, they're not worth jack. Um, have I sold these? I have. Too cheap? Too cheap. Let's jump it up to 400. One space over here. Uh, how much of the potato? Spiky potato. That's not what it is, but that's what I'm calling it. 400 is way too cheap. And they're popular right now, so. Just 740, see if that sells. Get a good night's rest. Let's go. Making the money, making the money, making money. You're coming for the request. I got you, man. Quest completed, $24,000. Yeah. You're welcome. Tell your friends. They're, they're, they're perfect, they're pristine, they're way too cheap still. Way to go, guys. They're the last ones I had, as I, I say, as I put back over here. Totally just the last ones I had. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Come on, they 7,500 for five pots. Nice. With all the tip bonuses I'm getting, too, that's, uh... Oh, that's gonna be like over 10... Ooh, 12,000! Holy moly. Alright. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? 2,000's cheap, but uh, popular, maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Magic mushrooms, you liked it? Nice. Bam, bam. Da, da, da. Making money. Ooh, making money. Alright, uh, those high value items. Yeah, fruit's gonna be high value item too. I, I don't know if I wanna drop that. Ooh, that, yeah, yeah, okay, look. Yeah. 
Ten thousand dollars. That's crazy. I see you, robber. I will beat you black and blue if you touch something. Don't don't make me do it. I'll do it. Get out of here. Gotta go put stuff back. Cause you're a loser. Woo! Money, 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 money. Any any requests from anybody? Like, I'll take all your requests. Uh, so something cheap. Oh well. Seventeen thousand dollars for a stack of five of those things. That's uh Dang, that's nice. Alright, I got more things to put over here. Not a full stack of them, but 6,000, that's pretty good. We got another robber coming in. You're just gonna grab something and run, I know you. You're not really the looking around type. Get out of here, bandit! Yeah, yeah. No, no one sees me! Jerk. Take it. No, nothing, nobody? No, nobody, nothing, no, now, no, how? Do, 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 do. Ah, man, I'm cleaned out. $10,000. Over $100,000. That's great. If I don't got it, I'll get it for you. Come, come, come say hello. I got you covered. Single pot for the old man. Wait. Did he seriously didn't like it there? I mean, to be fair, I guess I did have it set that much here. Oh, popularity's gone down. All right, I've sold too many, my bad. Well, we did just hellaciously well. 24,000 with that, that uh, cash in. Popularity really didn't go up or down too much. Um, it says that, but one of our items is worth a lot less now because we, <laughs> we bought a lot of it. Uh, sold a lot of it, excuse me. Well, shoot, now. What can I do? Need to make weapons, armor. But what can I do with my shop? Can I increase it? I have the money. I just can't because I need to actually, um, I think beat the, the area I'm in in order to do it. Luxurious cash register will entice customers to add an extra 40% tip with bang. That's that's a lot of money actually, but oh, I can't get them to build the. Uh, yeah, I can't get them to build the. Um, not, the house for the banker quite yet. So could just go to bed though. No, no, no. Here we're gonna do cash register. Unlock it. That's an additional twenty percent earned. As we continue, I'm going to lock the door because I think the missus is almost here, so... One second. Door is unlocked. Possibly running over trash. Yes, totally running over trash because my chair is a piece of... I love my chair, too, but likes to run things over. Nothing is more frustrating than running over cords and everything you need for life and getting it like stuck under those rolly ball chairs. Ah! Just tie this off. I'll take this out in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Ooh. Alright. Let me... 
Let's see. Money spent. Got the the next box all ready to go. 20% increase to, to the tip. 20 thing. You don't think it's a lot until it adds up. I mean, and it, it adds up fast. Uh, King's bed, 20,000. Good bed. You'll feel protected after sleeping. It, it probably increased our HP by more than just 50. I, I'd imagine 75 or 100. Got this guy unlocked. Yeah, let's do another run. Get some stuff. Hmm. Need to get 70,000. I think Banker is our next thing on our to-do list. Also, fertilizer and fertile soil. Fertilizer being the number one priority. I think we need one or two more. And then uh, fertile soil, we need like four more. And then we'll have enough for those, those uh, customer call-ins. Also, we got a little blade dude. I've been paying attention. What does he do? What you do, blade dude? Also, why do I have my bow out? Oh. That's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have taken that much. I, I took a lot of damage in that room. Stupid amount of damage. Stupid damage by stupid people. You know what I may do? I may take one of those chests in there and actually anything that goes low popularity, like like uh, these things, life fluid, low popularity right now. Shove it in there because they're worth a lot uh, and just stockpile them. Let me just unload them all in one day. Need you to not. <laughs> I walked into it. Dumb, 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 dumb butt. Oh no. Oh no. Nighttime. Nighttime bad. Oh shoot. We need, we need fertilizer. We need fertilizer, and we don't have fertilizer for today's uh, shop sale. Oh uh, no! Well, the only way we could possibly come out on top is, I think we need like one, one fertilizer. Do you sell fertilizer, dude? And if you do, how much are you screwing me over right now? Oh, I can buy it back? These are the things that I've dropped that he's just kind of like wandered into. Okay, how much for fertilizer? 4,500. But you know, for the amount that he's paying, more, paying me, I think that's worth it. He sells a lot of stuff, doesn't he? This is all stuff that I've actually seen him though. Golems. Yeah, so he's not going to drop anything I haven't already seen. So I can't, like, buy stuff out of him that, uh... I could craft items beyond my ability. Ah, uh, I don't have enough to things to sell. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drop this back here so I don't accidentally sell it for whatever reason. Um, toss a couple f cheapy things in here just because reasons. And honestly, I'm gonna take this out of here and just stockpile. It. Like I said, bottom chest is quest items. Top quest is empty right now. This is gonna be things that I know sell for a good amount, but are currently low popularity. That's it. Um. Bad, not like making money. So I am gonna actually sell a couple things. <clears throat> Don't know how much some of these would be worth overall. Um, I know that's a tier two bow. Tier one bow sells for a thousand. Tier two bow costs. Let's try ten thousand. I mean. 
Worst case scenario, someone looks at it and goes, No, I'm not gonna buy that. Okay, whatever. No hair off my butt. You hear from me to the, the trade? And you guys are here bright and early. $10,000. Alright, so I made half of that. Thanks to me dying early. Come on. 10,000. Come on. 10,000. It's a tier 2 bow. Oh, no, he's mad. Fine. Um, what if I drop this to 5,000? You know, 5,000 is still good. Especially for a tier 2 bow. So yeah, I'm open up today. I don't have much to sell, but maybe I can get a couple uh, commissions. I don't get any commissions. Whatever. Equipment. Probably not a bow that he wants. Uh, training gloves. Yeah, these are all training items. These are all like a thousand each. Popularity. Oh yeah, that's a good price for that then. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll sell, I'll sell things for 5,000. Oh, you're actually waiting for someone to walk in front of you. What a weird lady. She's probably being nice, actually. So 1,000 for tier 1 items and uh, 5,000 for tier 2. I, it's not It's not bad. It's not what I would hope for, but, you know, it's not bad. There. 1,000 bucks for the claw. Plus tip. I mean, I, I'm making a crazy amount of crazy amount of bonus thing for tips right now. If anyone's got commissions, please, please come up and talk to me. I got a crystal here. I got a bowl full of lemons over here. I mean, look, we're in business. Yeah, I mean, I, I, got, I almost made double the value of the item just from tips. So you, you got to be a good salesman if they're willing to be like, eh, you know what, $10 for this, you know what, I'll give you $19 just because you're nice. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. I don't care who you are. I'm not doing that for nobody. All right, it looks like we're not getting any commissions. It's almost, you know, almost closing time anyways. Might as well just close out. Got to see if we can get some fertilizer. At least we have enough for the banker now. So come tomorrow, banker is ours definitely. What he does, well, other than store money, I'm not sure why you want to store your money though. I mean, you don't lose it when you die, unless he actually is an investment banker, which would give you percent increase based on how many uh, how many coins you lock in. Then sure, not against the idea of it. Pardon me one sec, I got a ice cold coffee here, I'm gonna take a swig of. Mm. It's amazing what a little bit of cinnamon can do for your coffee. Yeah, Alright, let's go out. Okay, we got a we had a sparky sparkly room. Need some fertile soil. Darn you and your open chests. I hate the open chests. Right. A little bit of everything. No fertile. Fertile soil. Darn it. I didn't realize it was that time already. Jeez. Oh, was that a sparkly in there? I don't remember if it was sparkly or not. It was. Nice.
Great, more items we can't currently sell right now. Whatever. Ah, okay. It really needs to give us some of the fertile soil. I, I don't want to have to buy it all from the other guy. Because we're just not going to make anything from that. Because he's going to charge us like 4,000 a pop. We need several. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we're going to be losing money. And I don't know if, if, um, <clears throat> essentially upsetting your, your clientele base is going to hurt you in the long run. Is it going to cut down on the number of missions you get? You know, is, is it just nothing happens at all? I mean, I, I don't know. Let's try to, if we can, not upset them. Get some magic wood. There's some fertile soil. Three fertile soil, in fact. It's second fact, um... Put those up there. That way, in the event of us dying, we don't lose them all. Okay, we got a boss. Easy kill, first boss. Hey, the difficulty scaling is huge. Cause this guy on the first floor is easy. Really easy, especially with a tier 2 weapon. We just rail on him, he's dead at the end. Level 2 guy is a nightmare, man. He hits way too hard. Okay, look. Fists, I know. I gotta get up to you and punch you in the face, but jeez. Yeah, yeah, plant flesh, not worth. For the poison damage. But. Anything new? Uh, same stuff we usually get. Could drop this and this out. Pick that up. That goes there. This goes here. Bada bing, bada boom. We got three fertile soils. Again, still don't want to have to buy a fertile soil if it comes to that. Because th that's cutting on our profit like way too much. But <clears throat> I will if I have to. Our boss going to the floor tour, floor tour, or two. I'll go for now, but again, if we run into the the floor, uh, the the second floor boss, we can't. I mean, he he roughs us up way too fast. We need uh, at least leaf shoes, and we need some um, some enchantments to survive that. There's, there's no doubt about it. But right now, we've kind of been investing all of our money on the storefront. And the faster we make money, the better it is for us in the long run. Oh, we get some fertilizer. Hmm. <clears throat> 6,000 gold. I'm tempted. Okay, so... <clears throat> We got nothing destructive right now. We're gonna jam all that. I'd like to see what it is. Ooh, those those are valuable. How much is fireproof cloth, roughly? Wow. Okay. You have to hang on to that for the future. And this. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want it to come down to. Oh, we hang on to a couple things and hope the question marks ultimately give us more fertile soil. I mean, you never know. That that might be, but no thanks. So let's just keep trucking away. Haven't seen actual fertile soil drop in a while, which is saying something. Only gotten it from boxes. Okay, those are worth a fortune right there. We'll, we'll definitely have to hang on to that. Um, I think putting that there is okay. 
What's not worth a lot? Acid's worth a little bit. <clears throat> How much is a magnetic core worth? Okay, not much. So this we can do. I know the, the, the plating is worth a decent amount. Uh, those could be anything. You know, they can even be a box. So... Fertile soil, fertile soil. Stream with me, fertile soil. Was this a sparkly room? I don't know. I'm gonna take the HP drain. Okay, lost 10 HP. At least we know now. It's not what we thought it was. Yeah, don't you do it? Acid, yeah. Acid's actually worth... Yo, I can't open my inventory while people or uh, enemies are here. Totally forgot about that. That hurts, man. That hurts my feelings. Just where we were gathering in power crystals. Hmm. Get rid of that. Wow, that's worth way too much. Okay, let's, let's not ditch any of the seeds when we get from now on. I was just gonna pick that up. But seeds, holy moly, those are worth a little bit of, little bit of cash. No, let me out. Dead end, no sparkle, no wind, nothing. All right. Probably gonna run into the healing fountain either in this room or the next room. Still, one, one, one fertile soil. Come on. Come on, game. A wound fertile soil. Magic wood. Not what I was hoping for. Not at all what I was hoping for. Okay. Coming through. Got a couple kills here. Ow! Oh, the poison is mean. Insult to injury on this one. Let's just be safe and take this out from range. How did I get poisoned? Seriously. Uh -huh -huh. Uh, healing thing. Nope. Healing thing could be anywhere. Healing fountain, where are you? Well, nope, 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 nope. Healing fountain, come on. There we go, healing fountain. Eee. The idea of having to run from place to place like that, but jeez. Magic mushrooms, they don't sell for that much. Come on, come on, you gotta be a little bit nice to me. Think, except when I start walking over poison for no reason. Whoa. So those, those sell really well, so I, I'm, I'm happy about that regardless, but come on, I, I need stuff in my life, please. <sighs> I hate to have to make a call like this. We have one in the shop. This gives us three. Nothing's breaking when we leave, right? We're all good on everything? Ah, that's... That hurts. Alright. Whatever. Whole lot of things beaten down. What do we get? Mm, four pots. I mean, that's, that's almost... Seventeen thousand dollars. I can't. I'm, I'm not mad about that. So I mean, yeah, we we're gonna have to buy another fertile soil. There's nothing we can do about that. Is the pay payout worth it? Probably. It's probably worth it. That's definitely worth it right there. Jeez, ten thousand gold. That is seventeen thousand dollars cash. Up front. Right 
there. It's 1,500, 6,000. Okay, I was wrong. I was thinking the, uh, this price instead of that price for the pot. Sorry. Let's see. Gonna have to go buy one fertile soil before we open up shop. Guy should be good for it. Uh, we're hanging on to that because it's not worth much at the moment. I think that was a cheap item, right? Yeah, 300 was cheap. Um, less than 2725. At least the game is nice like that, and we know kind of roundabout, so. Gotta crank it up about 800. I mean, this is tier 3 item. We're not there yet, so. Bound to be a little bit more pricey. So, what's the, uh, less than a thousand, and well more than a hundred, that's for sure. Gonna go like 500 on this. Popularity's up too. Popularity's up on that, less than a thousand. Let's do, let's try 500 on that too. Let's see, light essence, 400 a pop. Value is just right with 400, so it's 2400 value. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, 400 is too cheap. Let's try 500. And fruits. Hang on to these because money worthwhile saving. Good to go. Um, go grab that fertile soil, and then we'll open up, sh open up shop for the day after that. Come on, fertile soil, come here. I know, I know, I gotta buy your overpriced junk. Why does he have two brooms now? Overpriced junk, aho, ahoy, 4,500 bells, ah! Yeah. Trust me, I don't want to buy it for 4500 Oh, and we also need to buy an investment banker before... Uh, before it turns night. Increase the popularity of Renoka by unlocking more dungeons and attracting the attention of this... Of this oh, we can't get... I thought... I thought... Oh, okay. So I, I guess I gotta beat the plant dungeon before I can get that guy. We're okay, and I have a lot more money than I thought I had. Mm, extra storage box? I guess I could do that. I could also craft out um, our boots. N new and improved boots. Alright, fabric boots number two. Whew, that costs a lot of money. How much is it to actually en enchant stuff for defense and HP? I really need to know that right now. Enchantments. Say I'm gonna enchant this. Thirty-two thousand dollars. What? Uh, but gives us twenty defense. It gives us five defense. It gives us twenty defense. I mean, it's the same price all the way around. Ooh, all right. What about uh, HP? Wow, 25 damage though. Also for 30,000. Maybe we need to focus on just killing things quickly. Hey, Scottish guy, what's up, man? How you doing? 32,000. I mean, 25 damage up. I mean, how fast we're killing things for the damage ratio that we gained from the old gloves to these gloves. 25 is a lot. So I mean I think thirty-two thousand for that isn't bad. So maybe even sixty-four thousand. Throw a couple. I'm doing good. Um, for the most part, give or take. I'm trying to get more into the streaming stuff than I did previously, because uh, it's it's hard to manage stream streaming times. You know what I mean? Especially with the other, when you got other people in your life, household full of people, work times, and everything else. I'm having fun with it. Gives me a reason to play some of the games that uh, I haven't touched in a long time or never got really involved in. And sat down and, and enjoy them. Actually, have a chance to enjoy them. Like this one, Moonlighter. They had uh, uh, 
the f content DLC come out. They actually released the game from Early Access, and they're due for a paid DLC pretty soon. They were advertising it, so... Alright. Well, now that we got our... I forgot I gotta open the door. I gotta unlock the door. Now we got our fertilizer for the, our commission in. Just don't tell them we had to buy part of it. 20,000. Nice. Right. Now we got enough for uh, some enchantments. Do, 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 do. Oh, rich guy? Oh, really, a rich guy is going to take the cheapest item we have. Cheapskate. Another rich customer. I mean, are you going to give me tips? I like the tips. I was really expecting him to run in front of that old lady and just, like, grab the item out of her hands and run off. Oh, you know, you give me, you give me way more than 800 for that. 3,800, nice. Uh, I want to save this. What can I actually sell this for? 180, 1800. That's so little versus what I was selling it before. What are you worth right now? 110 is way too cheap. But 110 is on the low ball of a thousand, so. Double the price. A little over double. And... Oh, those are worth a fortune. 740 each. Yeah, I think those are already up because of the, the popularity increase, so... And one forest fruit. Hmm. It's 32,000 per enchantment. The smart thing would be to enchant my armor to give myself more defense, but... When, when, when have I done smart things? Eh? 64,000 means I can get uh, almost double the damage on my claws. And you know what? The, the faster you kill enemies, the, the less chance they have of, of killing you, right? Let's actually pull this out here since we have an opening. Drop that in there, that'll increase the value a little bit more. Plus, I don't have to worry about people running off with it. You get those thieves in sometimes. Though our lava pit over there is scaring them off pretty well. enough for three enchantments. Three enchantments at uh, 35 damage a pop. Yeah, yeah, a little bit uh, effectively doubling our damage output. You guys took everything. I'm, I'm out. Close up shop early. Nothing wrong with that. What should we make? Plant flesh is cheap. Preserved roots cheap. Fertilizer is okay. More than it, I thought it was going to be worth. Of course, we're getting... I have some things uh, hanging up in shops, so we're actually getting about a 90% tip increase. So we're making about double of anything we put down anyways. Yeah, you need trade off water. 19,000 gold. All right. Um, and then the quest turned in 20,000, so... Yeah, good haul. Fantastic haul. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go shove some crystals on our uh, claws. Don't want to do enchantments. Could make myself more tankier, but why? Thirty-five thousand. Okay. 
So 35, went up 35, so this is only going up 25, so is there a... Does it actually get, uh, what's the word, a d declining amount? 25, this is still 25. Okay. That's all the enchantments I can do on my gloves, but shoot. Uh, 25, 25, and 35, so... Yeah, that's good. I say we make a push. I I'm gonna go see uh, if I can finally beat that that floor two boss real quick. I mean, he's still gonna two shot me, but the damage output. Eh. Sided. Oh yeah. We're just gonna one shot everything. It's fine, more or less. No customer commission earlier either, which... Nope. Get close, silver chest. The rarity of the chest increases. The, um... Excuse me, the, uh... Bronze was, you know, is tin, silver, and gold. And then finally cursed. Quality of the chest increases the amount of loot and quality of the loot inside of it. Oh, I didn't mean that. Ah. Never, never pick up question mark items. I... I made that mistake. Because if you pick them up, you can't stack them beyond a three stack. <sighs> Even though they're all the same thing. Alright. Oh, I f meant to store those. Oh well. Hmm. I do make a lot more money selling them, but if need be, I'll just burn them. Burn them for a little bit of cash. As long as we, we keep our, um, that 50 HP, that orange HP, that's from having a good rest bonus for having a nice bed. Uh, nicer beds give us more HP. I don't know if it's a, uh, like, 50 HP gain, 50 HP gain, 50 HP gain, or if the next bed's gonna give us, you know, uh, like, 75 total, I'm not sure. Holy moly, yeah. First four boss just got obliterated. That's a good sign. Of course, floor two boss is a lot tankier. So, I guess we'll see uh, firsthand how bad it's gonna be. Get out of it! Get, uh, get off of me! Uh, get out of me! Me get out of it! If I'm gonna go near you, I'm not going to. The end. Silver chest for days. Okay, if I hold J and pick up the entire stack. Oh yeah, that that's worth it. That's uh, that's seventeen thousand right there. And those are pretty worthwhile too. That is not what I meant to do. I meant to just uh, sort it. Jelly stuff is really worth it. I don't think I need it for crafting, so there's really no point in having it at all. Alright, this way maybe? Come on. Cash. Ooh, maybe we'll get a potion out of that dead body. That's uh, a weird thing to say, actually. Maybe there's something good on that person who died! Uh -huh. Would help, would help fight the boss. Yeah, potion. Another silver chest! Game! I, I, I said I was gonna try pushing the boss, and you're like, here's a bunch of loot! Hope your inventory's full, hope you die with everything. Yeah, it's looking like that. Okay, that's not worth much. I can get rid of it. Also not worth much. Also not worth much. Uh, yeah, put 
Put that down there. Let's uh, remove that, see what it is. Ooh, ooh, yeah. You, I'm gonna take you with me. You're worth a fortune. And let's remove the breaking curse off of this guy, because he's also worth pretty good money. And yeah. Getting enough that I might consider doing a um, expensive uh, door opening, which is the one that lets us travel back to town and then back to the dungeon in the same day. I think that's um, 6,000 gold, but it might be worth it right now. Especially they keep giving me silver chests, like, come on. So we're going to run into the boss soon, if we're not careful. We have one potion. Now, okay, I, I, I take it back. I threw away those little uh, orange and yellow and red things. You use them to make potions, which a smart person would buy a lot of potions when they want to push the boss. It costs a lot of money. Um, I have another silver box. Yeah, you know, we're, 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 we're opening a door. We don't have a choice at this point. The game is just yelling at us. Loot! Look at all the loot! Yeah, 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 we did... Too good, too good. Um... Group that up. Uh... Group that up. Magic wood is worthless. And honestly, this stuff is pretty cheap, too. Why would I throw it away last second? I'm gonna take the magic, um... Mushrooms, and... Yeah, we're, we're gonna open up this. Usually don't want to spend the money like that, but... Like, like truly, the amount of money I'm, I'm carrying right now is... Insane. Merchant emblem. Still daytime, luckily. Well, okay. When I say still daytime, it was nighttime when we went in. It's daytime, but when we leave, it's gonna stay daytime. We we actually could open up shop, sell the day, and then go back exactly where we were. So that is an option. We gonna we're gonna uh, set things up here. There's ten thousand dollars. That's new. that's good. Hmm. Full stack of that stuff. That is worth more. I mean, twenty six hundred. Okay, it's it's not nearly as much. Um, this one I have two of these. Four thousand. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Right, we're going to shove the empowered crystals in the box for fertile soils. That's cool. Those those are pretty worth it. Save these. Popularity is up. Ew. Okay. What you get for not selling them for a little while? Popularity goes through the roof. Those. Some of these. Some of those. Da -da. <laughs> okay. Um, gonna call it a night. Need some sleep. 3 a.m. over here. See ya. Alrighty. Have a good night, dude. 3 a.m. Yeah, it's, uh... Yeah, we are off for quite a few hours. I keep forgetting the, the difference. Still, it's 10 over here. See you around, dude. Let's see, what are we going to do? Venom spores? Have I sold these? Wow. Did I really sell them for that much? I mean, yes, too cheap. Way too cheap. Yeah, right. way too cheap. It's about 250 on that. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. probably wondering why I didn't put my, uh, plate of fruit in there. I forgot, honestly. Um, drop the crystals in here, though. And this'll, this'll still be our we're gonna sell it later thing. I'm 
mushrooms really aren't worth that much. Fortunately. Yeah. Walk out of here. I... Yeah, I, I still want to push. We'll at least see how much damage we do to the tier 2 boss. Hey, excuse me, uh, floor 2 boss. Either we win or we lose. And we'll have to go from there. <laughs> Thanks, game. Just chunk me out. Also, didn't see if there was a guy. Oh. Darn, I was really hoping for a potion from him. Plus, I mean, I, I just realized this too, that when you leave through that, you do get healed. So, we have our rest experience back, we have, uh, excuse me, rested HP back, we have our full HP back. You know, there is an additional benefit to it besides that, you know, if, if this was down or something. So, we go up, 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 down, wait. Why did he give us the full map? That's weird. Okay, well, shoot. We have the full map opened up, we can go at our leisure to the boss. I guess that's the other benefit to it. Weird thing to have a benefit wise, but I guess we did spend money to warp out of here, so so be it. Whoa! Oh, dude, that that hurts so bad. Okay. Seriously. Woo! Whoa. Whoa. No! <laughs> it touched my toe. It touched my toe. I had it. I actually had it. Thanks, game. Well, that sucks. Totally had it. You saw it. Y'all saw it. Slightly poisonous. My butt. Right. Well, I'm gonna invest into a better bed. Hope. Not enough money for that. Oh yeah. For some reason I was thinking I had like 130 thousand. I forgot we'd all the, the enchanting and stuff. <laughs> okay, fine. Here's what I want to do. I'm gonna go to sleep. Fully rested. Open shop. Sell everything. Buy a better bed, which should give us more HP. That's important. And yeah, make may call it at that point. Just so I can get. It, it is it is 10 it is after 10 already on, on, on our front so oh good first person who walks to the door is a thief get out of here if you come in saying thief I'm not gonna trust you just drop that one back in there I gotta remember too that uh, these Moonlighter streams I've been doing, uh, I've been doing on D Live, somewhat on D Live and somewhat split between D Live and Twitch. But I need to remember to download them tonight off of either or, and actually upload them to YouTube because I know I've been doing them at weird times and stuff, and I would like to have a full playthrough of Moonlighter available. You like this game. Okay, what do you want? You want me to kill 10 landscapers in three days and you're gonna pay me 24,000 for it? Yeah, sure. I mean, I, I see him anyways. I don't see why not. Thank you for waiting so long. Three thousand. Lots of money. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, you got you got my big seller. Nineteen thousand. Whew. That's good. All right. Um, I actually have a another one, another stack of them over there. You know the the value of these have gone up. So uh, I tell you what, let me actually just ho hold that thought. Hold that thought. I don't know why I'm hitting them all C C C C. I could just. He almost, wa he almost walked away with it. You saw him. Almost said, hey, this guy doesn't want, to, want me to buy it, so I'm just going to walk away. Oh. Uh, I think it was like... How much was the value? I don't know. How, how much did I sell these for? 340 last time? 340 was cheap? Well... We're going to do it that way, then. Yeah, let's just uh, chunk a bunch of these down. I mean, if they want them, they want them. If not, eh, we tried. Hold, hold the items, and they get uh, popular, and then sell them for a fortune. I'm good with that. Oh, he doesn't like it. Why don't you like it, man? Oh yeah, th that's the one I haven't actually uh, gauged the price on before. About 84. How about that? If you like it, we'll talk. What do you think? Sixty thousand already. Okay, that's a happy face. Not too cheap. I'm good with that. You're gonna buy them. You're gonna be good. That's good. That's a good price. Good price with the popularity. I like it. Forty-three hundred. Which actually gives me 8170. Holy moly. Ah, uh, too cheap on those. Interesting. Am I out? Eh, I'm not out, but. It's almost night time. It's, uh, sun has fully set it. That'd be night time. So these are my last uh, group of customers. And there they go. One burglar stopped. Whew. Now we have over a hundred thousand gold. Hey, let's go get a new bed or, or two or three. Three new beds. We're set shop. Yeah. New bed, 20,000 gold. 70,000. Sweet dreams are made of gold. Feel protected even in the hardest dungeons. The comfort will always be with you. Always. Nice play on uh, good old Star Wars there. 20,000 for that. 20,000 for a new thing. Okay. I'm gonna actually rest until daytime because I'm curious what two upgrades of our beds actually did. 50 being the first upgrade. Don't know. Oh my god, that is a fancy, fancy bed. Come on, how much HP? Come on. A lot of HP, a lot of HP. 250 HP. Wow, and we have three, what, just protection? Three protections or something? Three, three defense? Maybe it's just three hits we can take before we start losing HP. That's... Wow. We effectively just doubled our HP. Plus some. That's cool. Well, alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I think that is gonna be all for tonight, ladies and folks. Ladies and evening. But I was gonna say, lady and gentlemen. I'm tired. Let's just go with that. Not enough caffeine in the brain. Thank you everyone for joining. Thanks for hanging out. For more news information, what's going on, and what may be, check out the description below. If you like, just all anything like it. There's no like button because we're doing it on Twitch and DLive, but. Lemons are always accepted. Just saying. Anyway, I'm Dust Bunny from Slackers and Cover. I will talk to you folks later. Have a good night. See you.